Hello, this is Rick, and we're back down here at the AP tank. I'm getting ready to check it and see how far along those fingers have processed. So we're swinging over here, walking over the plug outlet, unplug the tank, walk back over here, make sure the cam is pointed at what I'm working with. And I'll stop. I'll get a close up of this. I don't know if you can see. I guess I'll just grab it. And yeah, there you go. You can see the solution in this. It burps and spits. That's yeah, why you got the overflow hose right here to go in that. That matter, you can set that off the side for a couple minutes. We'll look inside the tank. See what we got going on. Set that off to the side. Sorry about all the jerky stuff with the camera. I'm not really paying attention. I'm just rattling my jaw and doing my job. Stir them a little bit, pull them out, look. Oh, there's still quite a bit of gold on them. Yeah, get it close, maybe. Yeah, you can see maybe that the gold is starting to fall off. Should have been farther along than that. That's what I thought. You see how dark the solution came as far as it was, became. Quit speaking in broken English. But I can see foils floating all over around inside this tank, and clearly the fingers have not stripped as well as they should have. And the solution is way dark, meaning that it ate up a lot of copper already, releasing what foils there are. See foils all over on the gloves. Yeah, I'm going to have to rinse my gloves off to get all that back in the tank. Alright, that did it. But, seeing that it's not anywhere near stripped, we're going to add some peroxide. And here you go, regular 3% hydrogen peroxide. Then add. And add. I'm going to go ahead and make it hot. I'm going to put in a full 300 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide to this and get the job done. If it actually is too hot, it will take the gold into solution rather than strip it off. And that's part of why everyone says test with stannous chloride. That way you know if you're losing any gold in your solution. Anyway, much better. Tank's actually full. And wow, I shake it up and I can actually see it foam. See it foam? How hot that is. And it's actually starting to do something now. The solution wasn't as hot as I thought it was when I first started. Oh heck yeah. I'm just doing that and shaking it. I can see foils coming off, get it so it's not reflecting so much. And I'm trying to get it where you people can see what I'm seeing, but I got artificial light going on here and it's not working all that well with this camera. There's a back side of a single board right here that's been stripped pretty darn good. Let's see if I can get it in the light where you can see what's going on. Maybe. Yeah, there you got a real nice bright. And about that angle there, you can see uh, two brown strips. That's where the gold was at. It's pretty well stripped off. Won't take long at that rate. I can see the gold just falling off of it now that I added that much hydrogen peroxide. You see it floating all over in the solution. I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah. Let's shake it around. You can see a few of the flakes floating all over in the tank. Yeah, that's not actually light reflection in the camera. That's definitely materials floating around that I can see. You see a few bubbles coming up out of it, too. It's reacting pretty hot right now. I don't even think I even would need to turn the bubbler back on other than just to make it be super freaking hot. But yeah. You can 
see stuff moving all over in there and that is bubbles coming up out of it where it's just eating away at the copper and as it eats away at the copper it releases the foils I didn't think I needed to add any more peroxide to it when I started this video series but I guess I did and I, now that I did you're being able to hear me rattle on John and watch the action going on in the tank But that's working quite well. Yeah, you see the foils coming right off. Oh, it's freaking antifreeze green, I'm telling you. Looks like I got a bucket of antifreeze right here in front of me with the color of the solutions turning. That's exactly the way it is. Antifreeze green. Oh, wow. There you go. Get that close and get it within the focal length of the camera. You can see all the brown where it used to be gold on it. And the gold is definitely coming right off. You can get that right up in the camera and it just blurs right out. You gotta hold it that far away before it looks like it's clear in the little fan camera screen here. That sucks. I need a better camera. Anyway, that's me playing around with the AP tank while I'm stripping it. Let's see what this one did. Yeah. Actual fingers don't look like it stripped all that much, but on the other side, <laughs> the chips completely are gone off this one, both sides. It done ate all the solders on it and dropped everything off. It will be attacking all the copper out of it next. Yeah, I go through a fair amount of solution in it this way. I attack it all, take the copper, cement the copper, the copper turns in the billets that I melt down, and I take them to the local scrap guard and sell them. But yeah, I might as well get myself a space here to put the bubbler back in it and close the lid back up on it and let it go. I don't think I'm going to have to let it go that much longer till it's done. Yeah, look at all the foils floating in solution. You see them floating around everywhere. Might actually be a decent little recovery. I'm going to find out. Ain't got a whole lot farther to go in this video series until I'm out there trying to film something or other with the rest of my process. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. But... This is all cool. At least y'all get to see some of the action that's going on in the AP tank with all of you that are asking me questions. Works for me. Anyway, I guess I'll reach back in here. I don't want to reach in there with my hand. I too many dang foils get on my fingers when I'm doing that. Yeah, another thing kids toy but hey it works good for a plastic wand for reaching in here and stirring stuff around too stiff plastic piece of tubing pipe something or other works well oh yeah look at that move stuff out of the way and then you can see foils floating around in it everywhere see all that cool huh 